Welcome to Fans React and I'm going to be talking about the game on Tuesday versus Wigan. Now for Sunderland, um, we lost 2-1 versus Charlton. I mean, where can I start with that game? I don't really want to talk about that game. But I mean, that I do this on my previews. Um, I talk about the last game and then I talk about the game that we're going to play. So um, there he goes. Um, when the team news came out, I thought Lee Johnson got it wrong. No Jones. I don't know why he didn't start. Uh, power, he should not have started. Uh, should have started uh, Conor McLaughlin. I thought Grant, he could have played instead of maybe scouting. And um, Stewart, I thought, you know, 4 4 2, go for it. And, you know, that could work. But he went for O'Brien. I mean, that I would have liked to see two strikers up there and see how that works because, you know, I thought that could have worked. So um, the first half came and. We started off well, I thought we started well. There was one or two great chances for Wyke. I mean, that one chance he had, just smash it. And he just goes for this stupid flick. I mean, Ben Amos, brilliant goalkeeping for um, that chance. I thought it was fantastic. He saved them time after time. And he got them the, the three points. Um, I mean, some goalkeepers, they go down very easily. But, um, and... Why you thought go for the chip, but when you're in a big game, just put just smash it, and he didn't really do that. And that was a big chance, and you need um, your key players to score in a, in a key game, and he didn't. And then when you don't score your chances, there is going to be you know, like the other team, they, they will take or their one or two chances. And, and then Charlton they grew, they grew into the game. And then we conceded stupid fucking free kicks every single time. Just conceding free kick after free kick. And they had big like men in there like Innes, Pierce, Stockley. And we just couldn't deal with them. Um, it, it, you know that it was simple. When they got a free kick, just put the ball on uh, Stockley's head and they would always win the second ball. We were always too slow. There was two, three players that in that first half, they did not start. I think that they were sleeping. It was absolutely poor. And um, so um, they get the first goal. So the corner came in and a free header. Burge, he should do well. I mean that I've been uh, praising Burge, uh, Burge last four or five weeks. But, I mean, he's at fault for this goal. His biggest weakness is when he saves the shots, he doesn't uh, uh, push it, you know, towards the side. He pushes it towards the danger area. But what was going doing? Just calm head, clear the ball away, and he just slices it into the net. I mean, that was comical. I don't know what Burge or Scarwin were doing. First, I thought, you know, Burge could save, but maybe he could have pushed it away, you know, towards the side. Um, but yeah, and then we went. Uh, obviously, now we're one nil down. I mean, we didn't really do much. Didn't really do much first half. Second half came, and I thought, well, look, no, we've got to change it, change your half time because we're not doing well. Scouting at Winchester, there's so much space, and Charlton, they were going. Uh, there was Jaisemi. He was a danger. We just couldn't deal with him. He was brilliant um, yesterday. He was fantastic. And um, even um, Stockley, brilliant. He was winning the headers in. He was winning the headers. We couldn't deal with him. And he was very clever because he didn't play uh, where Sanderson was. He played on Luke, Luke or nine side. And in that second half, there was a chance for Stockley. I mean, I don't know how he missed it. He was so, it was so hard to miss. And he missed it, obviously went to the post. And then they get the second goal. Um, Silby, was it? Gilby? I think it's Gilbe. Um, Silby, Gilbe, something like that. And um, I mean, I mean, the man, he could have taken a nap. And he still gets time to get a second shot in. And it was so frustrating and 2 nil down. And uh, we didn't really, you know, it was, it was... Like long balls and these long balls are not going to work for White because he's not fast and um, we weren't putting crosses into the box the crosses were poor it was fucking shit 
and um, yeah, it's just then we got the goal uh, saved by their goalkeeper, and then he just came to Scowin and Scowin from twenty yards, he just puts it into into the net. And then I thought, come on, we can at least get a draw. This this is gonna be like the crew game, but the one the well there were two two or three half chances, but it wasn't. Uh, obviously that and that it wasn't to be and we lost 2-1 and Hull and Peterborough they won uh, I mean after the game I thought this could be over but there will be twists and turns Hull and Peterborough I think this is what I think some fans there obviously I know some fans are like very deflated and but there will be twists and turns that's what uh, that's why people love football there there's there is, you know, some something un, unexpected uh, around the corner and you never know what's going to happen. And I seriously believe that Hull and Peterborough, they could uh, drop points. But if they lose or they draw, we've got to take that chance starting on Tuesday. We have to win against Wigan. Now, if we don't, it's, well, it's going to be very hard, but... Do Sunderland do things uh, the easy way? No, we don't. We do. We just uh, make things very, very hard for um, for ourselves. Um, now, um, who played well? I thought Burge. He didn't really have a good game. I mean, he's been great last six, seven weeks. But uh, I mean, he was poor yesterday. Um, and yeah, he was poor. Power shit. Uh, I thought he was shit. Sanderson looked okay. Luke O'Neill, he was okay. Um, but he just couldn't deal with Stockley. We just couldn't deal with Stockley. Stockley, he was... Him and Ben Amos, I thought, was excellent. Then with uh, Jaisemi, I thought they were brilliant. Um, Winchester Scowin, I thought they were poor. Scowin, yes, he scored the goal, but... I mean, he didn't really do much else. Um... Gooch, shit, I don't know what he was doing, he was taking too many stepovers, I mean, the, I'm getting fooled, but he's taking one, two, three stepovers, just past the ball, will you? A Geeds, he didn't really do much, a few good crosses, but it wasn't to be white, I mean, he's got to score them two chances, I mean, he's been great this season, but he has to score them, and uh, I mean, for O'Brien, there was one great chance in the first half, and he missed it, and I mean, we just weren't clinical. He didn't do that that well. Um, I mean, Lee Johnson. I thought this game. I thought he got his his team wrong, and yeah, we lost them. Um, so, talking about the game now against Wigan. Now, Wigan. Um, they won four one against Doncaster, but in the last five games, they have lost three. Um, I think they have drew one and then they won one against Doncaster and um, I mean Doncaster they're in a bit of a free fall at the moment and hopefully that's not us the us in the next few games because seeing that performance some fans can be worried about the next few games um, Wigan they've got some good players like Keen um, they've got uh, the Ottawa um, Clough I don't really know too, uh, uh, like I don't really know a lot about Wigan, but obviously the one in Lee Johnson's first game is it his first game? Well, well, that that he was in the dugout, so that you can tell that he's well. Obviously, it's his first game, but and they did okay. We just couldn't uh, break them down, and they are fighting. Uh, you know, they need the points, and it's gonna be a tough game. Hopefully, we can break them down and win. So what do I think uh, that no um, that what do I th um, think that the team will be? I think it'll be Lee Burge in goal. Now the back four. Um, I'll give it Sanderson and Luko nine. We need right back to put Luko nine in the centre mid. I mean that we need right back ASAP. Uh, then the right back and left back. I'll do um, Connor McLaughlin and Hume. Bring Hume now because. I mean that he's played last two games. Just give him like, like first half or the first. Just you know that because th that he's been uh, playing last two games. Obviously that he came on against Peterborough, then he came on against Charlton. So that we need we need players now. And I mean that start Hume. Um, 
and power don't start power just put him on the bench because last few games he's been absolutely shit um then in the center mid i would bring grant back and i'll start winchester as well scowing i would not start him um then on the wings i'll be geeds and jones then go four four two two big st strikers up top with wyke and stewart i mean the what we gotta lose just play them two up top and see what because I mean, you never know. Them two could work well together, and yeah, that we could win. Um, so yeah, that I uh, that would be um my team. Don't do this three four bullshit three. I don't know what he is or um this four two two four two 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 that whatever it is. Just go four four two, plain simple, like the way that it, like the way that uh, that should be. And yeah, um, so what do I think the score will be? Um. I think we will win. Um, I don't know about this. You know what? I'm going to say 2-1 Sunderland. Yeah, 2-1 Sunderland, I think. But I don't think we will keep a clean sheet because at the moment, we're not keeping clean sheets. We're so leaky in defence. So many chances for the other team. So I think we will win 2-1. And yeah, obviously, that was a big setback. I mean, the hour was deflated after the game um but obviously i think that's our first loss in 15 games so we can go on a run again we've still got to play a hull so i think hull and peterborough they will draw or lose in the next few games that's what i think i mean that it is not over till the la uh, till the fat lady sings so you never know what can happen and uh, obviously obviously keep the faith because I mean that I'm keeping the faith and I think some fans are going to say, well, you're stupid, aren't you? It's going to be playoffs again and then that we're going to play a Charlton and you know that, uh, you know the how the story unfolds. But I mean, I just think this year there will be twists and turns and we will get top two. But you never know what can happen. I mean, we could go to in, into playoffs and win, you know, against Charlton or if it's Blackpool. And um, yeah, fingers crossed we win on um, Tuesday. I'm not going to watch the game because I'm going to be at work. So, <laughs> I mean, hopefully we win. Big game. Um, we're going to we're gonna, gonna be fighting for every point. And it's going to be a very tricky game. They did well when they played. Uh, um, uh, they did well when they came to the sta Stadium of Light. And they were tough to, tough to break down. So hopefully go 4-4-2. And um, yeah, fingers crossed we win 2-1 and hopefully I get the score right because I never get the fucking score right every time. Um, yeah, so if you're seeing this and you've not subscribed, come on lads, subscribe because we want to get to 1,000. Because I mean, uh, I think I got over 140 views. I mean, and if you're not subscribed and you see this, just click the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? It's like great lads that, you know, live shows, there's a pre-match shows, quiz, you know, the season ticket for next season that you could win it. I mean, if you've got the season ticket, you could win it for someone else, like your family friend or your friend or, you know, you know, that whoever you want to give it to. So that if you don't know uh, the way to use it, the, uh, then just send me a little dm and yeah that i'll help you and um just um just subscribe like comment as well because i get some good comments you know people saying um good video and you know what i mean that boosts my confidence up because yeah obviously then i that i can keep on uh, doing this and um yeah so like comment share and um and fingers crossed we win uh on tuesday versus wigan and you take care